There are many potting mixes and planting mixes available on the market, and today I'm going to show you how to make your own. You generally have two categories of ingredients, some organic materials such as compost, uh, a peat moss, you can also use pine bark or a cocoa choir, and then there's also the inorganic component, so that would be a sand or a perlite or a vermiculite. The organic materials will hold the water and the nutrients for the plants, while the inorganic materials like the sand or the perlite will allow for airflow and water drainage through the potting mix. If you're using a compost, the compost will provide nutrients. If you're only using a peat moss or a cocoa coir or a pine bark, you'll need to add some sort of fertilizer to provide the plant nutrients. So the basic potting mix recipe that I'm going to show you today is about two parts organic to one part inorganic. You can mix your materials into a bin and, and use a little bit at a time and store it for later. It doesn't matter what you use to measure as long as you're consistent. So a part could be a cup, it could be a bucket full, it could be a wheelbarrow full. So I'm going to start with one part peat moss and then we'll add an equivalent quantity of compost for this mix. And I'll add this equivalent quantity of perlite. So after you've added your ingredients, you'll give it a good stir, add some water, and then you're ready to plant something. If you're looking for some specific recipes on potting mixes, you can look for a bulletin by Penn State University Extension. I'm Caitlin Youngquist with University of Wyoming Extension, and you're watching From the Ground Up.